Thailand. From stories of glamour and success. Well, don't need to see lights. <laughs> to idyllic rural retreats. Escape with the greats this summer on BBC4 and iPlayer. This is BBC News, I'm Sean Lay. The latest headlines. A judge in Minneapolis sentenced the former US police officer Derek Chauvin to 22 and a half years in prison Friday for the murder of George Floyd. President Joe Biden said the sentence seemed appropriate. Emergency services continues to search for survivors for a second day after working through Thursday night following a building collapse in Miami yesterday morning. At least four people have been confirmed dead. More than 150 remain missing. President Biden has been meeting Afghan President Ashraf Ghani to discuss U.S. troop withdrawal and the surge in fighting between Afghan forces and the Taliban across Afghanistan. President Biden said that Afghans need to decide their country's future. Police in Germany say three people have been killed by a man with a knife in the central city of Würzburg. Authorities say the attacker, a Somali man, had recently spent time in a psychiatric institution. Good evening to you. Welcome to our look ahead to what the papers will be bringing us on Saturday morning. With me this evening, Benedict Pavio, France 24's UK correspondent, and Esther Weber, Esther's senior UK correspondent at Polisco Europe. A warm welcome to both of you. Lovely to have you both with us this evening and to have you with us at home watching. Let me bring you up to date with some of the front pages we've already